Am I boring you? You're not, you're sleepy. 102-year-old Charlotte England has an audience of robots keeping her company. I'm going to make Nanaimo bars. Social robots, in fact, meet Kiwi and Mango. They're at the center of a study examining whether artificial intelligence can be used to help care for older people. They're a big hit with residents here. They say the pandemic left many seniors feeling isolated. I think one of these to help the loneliness would be great. I don't see my children that often, but I mean, I could play with him all morning. It's fun company, you know, kind of. You don't have to feed them, you don't have to clean them, you don't have to take them for a walk. <laughs> Perfect. The AI companions are the size of a small pet and use emotional robotic software that learns and mimics human emotion. As soon as you come home from work, it will run to the door to greet you. It gets really active and it actively seeks your love. It follows you everywhere and it goes to the home to follow all different kind of people and try to check up to see what people are doing. It's kind of like a domestic cat. With a 360-degree camera on top, these two can recognize faces and voices, even reach up for a hug. So it knows that Tanya is standing there and you are standing there with the camera. This robot loves camera, so it always looks at the camera. The two have been trained to take after their lead companion, leading to different personalities and even moments of jealousy. Oh, you're getting jealous? You want to be touched too? Hey. Yes, you do. <laughs> UBC researchers worked with the Japanese manufacturer to bring kiwi and mango here. And now Canada is part of an ongoing international study that also includes Hong Kong and Singapore to study human-robot interactions. Am I right? <laughs> researchers say they'll gather and analyze the results from around the globe. So we want to compare our data. It's kind of unique. It's a little bit different here in Canada. The Canadians are a little bit reserved in terms of like having new technology like this. They'll spend the next few months recording interactions between the residents and robots, then publish those findings to help shape the future of seniors' care. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, West Vancouver.